Hello everybody, time for a new shave. It's been a couple of weeks ago since I did the last shave, but time to do a shave. Uh, a video, a video. Uh, four or five days ago, so I think it's four days or something. Uh, uh, I was thinking of doing the shave yesterday, but I have a razor I have uh, honed and that wasn't finished yesterday, so I have thought I could do it today. Sorry for this mumbling again, but hogs, uh, deliverance, really nice soap in my opinion. I'm gonna uh, use hogs deliverance out the shave balm and I have bowl added in this nice bowl. Uh, Frank Strum by design, uh, Omega Ball Brush. Real nice peaky ladder as you can see. So hopefully that, that will work. A ball brush because I want to do a little bit of scratch on that. Uh, whiskers. This is the razor. When I got this, well actually uh, a student of mine asked me, can you fix this razor? As you can see, a lot of patina, uh, a lot of stuff going on on the blade. There is a bump on the blade. As you can see, maybe uh, a lot of patina on it. Uh, Waylon, uh, so sorry, Thomas Waylon from Sheffield Old Razor. In that groove there, you can't see, but I can. Maybe you can see that. It says Army Razor. Uh, I have just taken off the rust, uh, polished a little bit, and this scales was really, really ugly. So I have unpinned everything, pinned it again and uh, hold it and it's not this razor is not straight it's a bend on it and the scales are crooked as hell as you can see <laughs> so when you fold it you actually have to align this a little bit so just take it easy and that wedge there uh, was loose on everything this was kind of metal wedge i thought it, i don't think it was no i think it was an aluminum Aluminium wedge or metal wedge of some kind. Uh, put several hours of work on it. <laughs> uh, wanted to get a better finish on it, but as I told you, I just wanted to do work. If that student is not happy with the people there are not, I can start to grind it even more. But I don't want to put too much grind on those old razors because if you're going to thin them out it's a wedge razor so there's a lot of material on it but still you wear it out too much in my opinion and i should have taken a photo before i started to work with that total rusted uh, As you can see, there's a bend on that scales like that. So the razor has probably been in a drawer or something, and something has pushed over there. So actually, the blade is bent too. So, and it was a black as yeah, black as this, <laughs> rusted like that. So you couldn't see the razor looked like the scales. It's home scales on this one. Try to polish a little bit, grinding and uh, nice sandpaper, and then polished up a little bit so that is still i think it looks great uh, the pins felt great when i pinned it so hopefully the edge is great uh, five at race i think this is something a hollow uh not hollow ground it's a wedge racer but uh smiling blade as you can see the really wedge a smiling blade to it so difficult the heel was difficult to get uh, sharp and the uh, edge was really difficult to get sharp, so hopefully it's shave shaveable at least. There is no feedback. When you got these switch races. It's a surprise, it cuts really nice. <laughs> uh, as I told you, if you want to get the more finish, better finish it, he has to do it himself. Uh, uh, wedge races often feel a little bit of taggy, even when they are properly honed. Yeah, I don't. 
uh, use wedge razors often, but uh, that's a different. Very different feeling. We just see how it works when I'm finished. You don't get that feedback. It can be difficult to find the angle. And it's a smiling blade. Look at that ladder. <laughs> Very much ladder on the blade. A uh, little bit of thick, but I like it like that. I don't want to have too uh, wet ladder. So, it's a smiling blade. So, to feel several parts are missed a little bit there and so on. But let's do the second pass and see how it feels. And then do the third pass and hopefully we got a nice shave. As I told you, wedge razors feels often a little bit tuggy on the first pass. Hopefully, feels better on the next pass. But there's some, to, some in the same time, it's fun to get these razors workable. Uh, And the edge was totally cracked. Uh, was like a bread knife, you know. Uh, the chips on the edge was uh, cracked and so on. So I have to home away a lot of uh, metal from the edge. Uh, I didn't film it because I know I will uh, have to put a long time to hone it. Ah, oh, it's much better second pass. And as I told you, it's a little bit thick this ladder, but I like it thick. I don't know how old this razor is, but it's an old razor. Uh, I have seen these type of razors before. I have restored some of those razors, old razors too. Uh, And uh, the groove you got there, where it says uh, arm eraser, you see that groove there. Usually they are polished so much, so I have just been very gentle to it. And there's a lot of, as you can see, it doesn't look so great in that groove. Uh, the blade is not the best polish either, but still, I uh, have sandpaper much there. I didn't want to get rid of that. Army razor says that. I think that was a nice thing. I've never seen it before on other those of those razors. So now I know if they have polished lot on that groove and polished away 
to a nice polish and so on they have grinded away all that all the race there markings that are is in that view and that I want to wanted to keep that definitely not a mint condition racer <laughs> uh, sad I didn't take a photo before I started it was totally totally rusted the old whole, whole blade I was very concerned if there was enough material to after the rust was taken away but actually there's a lot of pitting as I told you but not so much on the edge and there's a lot of material on on the wedge racer so if this would be on a hollow racer there would be nothing left I can tell you so much rust on it I know people when they restore races, they wanted to get it perfect mint condition, but I just wanted to keep this racer alive. And that was my goal and seems to be working. Uh, in my opinion, it's better to have it in this shape than ruin the old racer. If you want to restore razor better than this, there have to be a the starting position of the razor, what I call it there. I mean that you have to start with a better razor than I started with. Because every every millimeter on that razor were covered with rust, not only little bit total cover with rust so uh, i'm glad it works i told the student too that i'm not going to try to uh, correct that home scale i'm afraid i'm going to break it uh, or damage it in another way so i Told him I'm going to clean it, of course, and try to do a little bit correction to it, but not much at all. So I I know it's crooked as hell, <laughs> the scale. And the blade was actually The blade was crooked too. Really nice shave. <laughs> really satisfied actually. No irritation on the second pass and not no irritation on the first pass, uh, second, third pass. But first pass, as usual, these wedge racers feel a little bit taggy and I could feel it. Uh, if you look at, I don't know if you can see it, but you see that bend like this. The blade bends like this. So there's a bend in there. Uh, I can see it really easy, but I don't know if you can see it, but when I looked at the razor like this, uh, oh, this doesn't look straight, and <laughs> it's not straight. And then I looked at the scales, there is a bend on that one really much, and it's bent the same way as the razor is. So probably the alignment doesn't match it. You can see it on the top there. I have to move it a little bit just so it passes. and. Yes, as you can see, when I push it down, it goes up because it's actually grinding on that pot. I don't know if you can see it there, but maybe there you can see it. See, it's a gap there, no gap on that side. So it's leaning on that one. So, uh, not a big issue. I'm gonna do a quick rinse and I'll be back just a moment. Oh. I'm actually really surprised. <laughs> it was really difficult to hone that one. It took me a long time. I have to start with the DMT plate. I've used actually three layers of tape because the edge 
uh, was so, uh, what do you call it, so wide, so I wanted to, to narrow it. So if you have an angle like this and you put tape on uh, the spine, you widen up that, so you can that that kind of edge. And uh, when I started, I was really thick and I made it a little bit smaller, so I get a smaller angle. And um, that seems to be worked, working. <clears throat> Not the best looking razor at the moment, but definitely 10 times better than it looked when I started with it. Um, if you have a metal piece in your garden or somewhere, and let it be there for a couple of years, I can tell you there's so much rust on it, so you can almost peel the rust from the, from the metal piece. That was the amount of rust on that one, so, <laughs> so uh, I was really concerned when I started to grind and polish it and so on. It, but it, in my opinion, it turns out really nice, so I'm satisfied at least. Uh, house deliverance, uh, shave, soap and balm, Emil shaving supplies, uh, Frank Sternberg design brush, uh, handle with the Omega ball brush, home scale, weight and no weight and butcher, it was Thomas Ward from Sheffield, arm eraser, home scales, uh, private smiling blade, load of, load of what they call it, pitting on it as hell, as you can see it doesn't look so pretty if you take a close look at it, but actually it works, uh, the edge works really nice, I was really concerned about the thing, or if you can see there, on the, you can see on the light there, that has a hole, a bump. <laughs> I was concerned if that was the hole right through, but it wasn't. So you can imagine how much rust there was in it. And you have to be really careful when you fold it. Otherwise you crack that edge. And the edge looks like a bread knife. It was cracks all over the place. No, no hole parts, nowhere. Just like this all the way. So <laughs> I managed to solve this razor, I think at least. Works for me. I hope my student is happy with it with some issues still but much better now than it was before thank you for watching everybody sorry about this mumbling and uh, hope to see you next time and uh, now it's 2024 bye everybody thank you for watching <laughs> bye